right. Um, hopefully that fixed it. Hopefully I'm on the right feed. Um, let's see. Well, let's get started and see what happens. Um, I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, yay. I think we're on the right track now. I had some glitches um, with my computer, so I had to switch over. Hey, Yancy. I had to switch over uh, to my phone, but Yancy, you're on um, Fit to Fight Republic, correct? And not from my own homepage. Okay, I'm gonna say we're good to go. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. I'm feeling a lot better um, just across the board. Yeah, I did not have COVID, thank goodness. I uh, tested negative, thank you. Um, sorry for the few technical glitches this morning, but I think that we got it worked out. Um, yeah, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, I've got a good practice. We're gonna start off standing up and then we're gonna come down to the floor and we're gonna work on, um, okay, thanks. Um, we are going to uh, work on our legs quite a bit today and our back body. So I'm really glad everyone's here um, and let's get started. Um, we're gonna start standing. I might have to make some adjustments with the um, angle just because I had originally planned to use my laptop, but you know, plans change. And that is um, kind of why we do this stuff, right? So we can figure out like how to be in it and not go crazy. So let's just start in a forward fold. You can have your hip, your um, feet about hips distance apart. And I always like to start um, with a nice bend in my knees. It doesn't really matter if your hands touch or not. Um, you know, you always have the option of grabbing your elbows. If you feel like you need a little shoulder stretch today, interlacing your fingers behind you and just releasing, keeping your knees nice and bent for, for this first moment. And um, the dogs behind me today are, this is Dolly. And um, this one over here that you may see later is uh, Layla. And just start to release, maybe shake your head yes and no. Notice if you're holding any tension in your face, in your jaw, and just see if you can, um, you know, let that go. We're gonna inhale to a halfway lift. You wanna start to straighten your legs when we do the halfway lift. Maybe your fingertips uh, touch the mat. Maybe you're at your shins. Either one is great. Then go ahead and release back into that forward fold. This time keeping a little bit of a micro bend. You don't have to bend quite as deeply into your, into your knees. Again, you can take some movement. You can release your head, shaking your head yes and no. And then focus on breathing. Again, we'll do that halfway lift. So hands can come to shins, hands can come to fingertips, or fingertips can come to the floor, and then release back in that forward fold. Again, maybe you start to straighten your legs just a little bit more. You can move from side to side here, bending and straightening one leg and then the other, or you can just find that stillness. One more, we're gonna inhale halfway lift, exhale fold. And if it feels okay, go ahead and see if you can start to, if you can, straighten your legs. You don't want to lock your knees out, but just get them as straight as you can. You're working on getting your chest towards your thighs. And that shape's going to look different for everyone, so just be good with where your body's at. If you need to keep that bend in your knees, that's perfectly fine too. And breathe. Again, we're going to have come into this halfway lift and release and slowly roll up the standing your head and neck being the last thing to come up yeah and this time take your feet a little bit wider than your hips your toes can point out to an angle if you'd like um, or whatever is really most comfortable for you and then just start to we're going to open up our backs a little bit so keep your elbows engaged here you can start to come into your fight stance if you'd like, moving through your hips as well, coming onto one toe and then the other, or you can just, you know, move from side to side. You may notice as we're here that you start to move into the twist a little bit more deeply as your back starts to open up. Maybe not, maybe not today. Awesome. 
Dolly's here for more support. Hey, Dolly. And come back to center. Just shake through your wrist. We're going to interlace our fingers, extending your palms out, dropping your shoulders down. So we have a tendency to bring our shoulders up here. You don't want to do that real lift down your back, stretching through your palms. And then go ahead and lift your hands up toward the ceiling. Bringing your, your, your hands as, as far back as is comfortable for you. Um, if you have really tight shoulders, it might not be you know quite that far, and that's okay. Take a deep breath. Pay attention to what's going on with your front body too. Notice if when you're in, you know, with your hands elevated, are you starting to allow your ribs to kind of come forward? If you are, just pull your belly button into your spine, bringing everything back into alignment, protecting your back, engaging your core. Go ahead and release your hands down by your side. Inhale one more time, bringing your hands up, taking your left wrist by your right hand and coming into a side bend. Glad to see everyone today. Coming back to center, right wrist, left hand. Over to the other side. Nice. And then come back up to center. Releasing your hands, this time we're gonna take our feet a little bit wider, toes can go out, um, heels come in. And you can come into like a little bit of a squat here. And your hands can just rest on your, on your knees. Um, you want to make sure that your knees and ankle are um, somewhat in alignment, like you don't want your, your knee um, way out here. Or, yeah, you guys got it. So go ahead and bring your right shoulder in towards the center. And maybe you look over to the left. Coming back to center, and we're going to do the same thing on this other side. Left shoulder comes forward. Maybe you look over your right. back one more time right comes in center looking over your left shoulder if balance is an issue that's okay just you can keep your line of sight wherever you need to come back to center left shoulder maybe looking over the right and then come back then go ahead and release your hands down to the floor you can start to slowly straighten your legs and we're just going to come into another forward fold here, just changing the angle of that. So you can keep your hands on the ground. You can walk them forward or behind you. Or you again, you can just grab your elbows. Shaking your head yes and no. Trying to release any tension in your upper body and your face and neck, which you can. Sorry about that, guys. Just listen to my voice as Dolly like crowds off the video. Come here. Yeah, it's always, it's always fun. Bring your hands to your hip. We're gonna to come to a halfway lift. And then go ahead and come all the way up to standing. Nice. And heel toe your feet together. Maybe a tiny bit wider than your hips. And then we're gonna come down into a squat position. Hands are gonna come um, to the floor, fingertips to the floor, or uh, to a block or to a pillar, whatever you have at home. And then just start to rock to your fingertips and to your toes and then back and you can lift your hands. And this doesn't have to be a really deep squat right now. We're not going to be doing too much of this. Just get the body engaged. A couple more times, two more times. And you're just rocking to your toes and back to your heels. Nice. And then see if you can come into a wider squat. It's okay if your bum's already on the ground. See if you can stay here for just a moment. Breathe. And then go ahead and come all the way down to your bum. You just come into an easy seat or if you prefer, you could extend your legs out in front. And just start to make some circles in one direction and then the other with your upper body. thought my computer like it was glitching I thought we were like it was taking me into the matrix it was like flashing I don't know doing all kinds of weird stuff technology is not always my friend but that's okay
moving back to center, we're gonna do some seated cat and cows. So you're gonna open up your chest, bringing your chin toward the ceiling, and then round everything forward, tucking your chin towards your chest. Again, opening up, and then pulling everything towards the center. Two more times like that, opening up your chin, your chest, exhaling, rounding everything. Nice. And then just go ahead and come back to that neutral position. We're gonna extend our feet out in front and just windshield wiper your legs from side to side. Extending your legs out in front this time. And just roll through your ankles. Maybe wiggle your toes. You can point and flex. Yeah. Just. And as you're moving, if you move just a little bit slower, we'll go ahead and let's just pay attention to the right side. So forget for a second that that left leg's there. And just point and flex your right, your right toe. Rounding through. Maybe you bring your toe in toward the center and then out, and notice how that changes the sensation in your leg. And then just forget about the right one for a second. Same thing, you can make some rotations in both directions. And then bring your toes in toward the center, and then out. Notice if any sensations, and we'll do them both together, bring both toes into the center, and then out. And just, yeah. And then sit up tall. Inhale in your fingertips to the ceiling. And then exhale, we're gonna come into a forward fold. Same thing when we're standing. So you can keep a bend in those knees as much as you want, as much as is comfortable. If you have super tight hips, um, you may wanna take your feet a little bit wider. Um, if this feels really good, you can keep your legs straight or keep a micro bend in them and then just release into this fold. You can drop your chin. You might notice a little bit of rounding and that's okay. Get some wildlife action going on today. And breathe. And just notice as you inhale and exhale, how that changes the pose and how sometimes you're able to move a little bit more deeply into it as you exhale. Not all the time, it just depends on where you're at today. Go ahead and start to walk your hands back up. We're gonna shake through the legs a little bit. Coming back into an easy seat, we're gonna move through the shoulders and then we're gonna come down to the, um, down to all the way down to the ground. So inhaling your left arm up to the sky, drop it back behind your head and you can just take your elbow, excuse me, and yeah, and add some tension. Once you're here and your, um, you know, shoulder starts to open up a little bit, you can just start to look up. You don't have to like make a drastic movement with your head, but just leaning your head up and then pay attention to what happens here. So this belly moves. Um, you'll notice that your, again, your rib cage wants to start to flare out. Pull your rib cage back in by just bringing your belly button to your spine. And you're not like really sucking anything in, but you're just moving everything back into alignment. Nice, go ahead and release that stretch. Shake through your arms a bit. Next arm, right arm comes up to the ceiling, drop it back behind your head, and grab your elbow there. And then when, again, once you're, once you're in the um, position, just start to move your head towards the ceiling, just creating a little bit more tension. And you may notice that there's more sensation on one side than the other. And just hold that for a moment and breathe. You can also have a dog with you and um, just work on your footwork at the same time. You know, work on your blocks. Uh, great, great BJJ partners. Um, you know, just saying. Go ahead and release that hand. And then we're going to come down to our backs. Start by pulling both of your knees into your chest, giving yourself a squeeze here. Let's see if I can. Stay on camera. Yeah. 
Give yourself a little bit of a massage as we're here. And just extend both of your legs toward the ceiling. And you can just stay here, keeping your legs extended. You wanna keep your feet active here. Heels are gonna to go toward the ceiling. You can also take your hands behind your, if you wanna just a little bit more, take your hands behind your legs, press your legs into your hands and your hands into your legs at the same time. So you're creating tension through your heels, you're pulling the energy up through your heels, down through your body, and then also by pushing into your hands and then back um, your hands into your legs. Just notice that tension that you're creating. And then just release. Maybe you pull your both knees into your chest. You're gonna extend your right leg all the way out straight, bringing your left knee in towards your chest here. And you can stay and just hold your knee into your chest it doesn't matter how close it is, even if you have to just interlace your fingers behind your thigh, that's perfect. And once you're here, making some tiny movements or taking some gentle movements here. And then take your left knee in your right hand and we're gonna pull that knee across your body for a twist. And once you're in the twist, you can just extend both of your arms out like a T. And then just try to relax into this. You may notice that like maybe your knee's not going as far. You can adjust your hips if you really want to, um, but you definitely don't, it, that's not really what we're working on today. But whatever makes you comfortable, um, you can walk your hips over to the left a little bit, which is gonna help you open that up a little bit. Come over here. You're gonna keep your right hand, actually I'm gonna switch sides um, so you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna keep your right hand down, bring your left hand up and all the way over. So your leg is gonna come into what's called a half frog, your knee and your ankle as you come onto your chest and you're staying on top of your, of your right shoulder or whatever side you're in. So once you're here, you can just use your, your opposite arm to kind of rest your forehead or your chin. Your belly's on the ground and your weight is, part of your weight is in your shoulder. And just see if you can release into the mat here. Releasing into this full body stretch. Notice what parts of your body are touching the mat. Noticing any sensations that come up for you. We'll be here for just a few more rounds of breath. Now you're gonna use your, your hands to come up you're gonna unwind, bringing that opposite hand coming all the way onto your belly, bringing your left leg down beside you. And you can rest your forehead or your chin on your hands here. And again, just notice the weight of your body, your, your front body on the mat or on the floor, wherever you're, wherever you're at today. Notice any sensations that come up. Then we're gonna interlace our fingers behind our head. You're gonna, same thing that we did with our legs when we started, we're gonna create some tension. So I'm gonna push into my interlaced fingers. At the same time, I'm, I'm creating some tension with my hands. So I'm stretching through my neck here. So your elbows can stay out to the side, or you can allow them to rest on the ground if that's more comfortable. But you're just pushing your head into your hands and your hands into your head. You don't have to come up very far. As long as your forehead is off the mat, you can, you can bring your elbows out more to the side, really pressing into your fingers. And then just go ahead and release. Resting your chin or your forehead on your hands again. Taking a breath. And 
you're gonna take your right hand, thread the needle through. You're gonna bring that left leg up and you're gonna roll back onto your, onto your back. So exactly the way that we started. Pull your knees into your chest again. If that I was like, what? How do we end up there? That's okay. We're going to do it on the other side. We all got this. This time you're going to pull your left leg in, whichever leg you didn't do before, because I'm a little mixed up since I um, had to change for the camera angles. But just pull that knee into your chest or your armpit, towards your armpit, extending the opposite leg, taking some small movements, maybe some circles. Notice how this leg might be, I don't know, it might, you might have more range of motion on this side. Maybe it's a little bit more tight. Nice. Then you're going to take your opposite hand and you're going to bring that knee across for a twist. See, I'm all on the wrong side. But that's okay. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Just relaxing, extending your arms out like a T. Noticing what comes up in this shape, even though you made it on the opposite side. Then same knee, same hand. You're gonna bring that hand to the ceiling, those fingertips to the ceiling. You're going to start to move over to the opposite side, staying on your shoulder that's already grounded, coming into that frog, half frog on this side. And I know you guys can't probably see very well the same thing that we, we just did. You can bring your arm in front again to rest your chin or your forehead as we're here, stretching through that shoulder. And then just breathe. Focusing on releasing your body towards the mat, releasing your, your upper body, stretching through your shoulder. And then again, coming up on that arm, you're gonna unwind, so you're gonna bring your arm out to the side, and this time we're gonna come into our Sphinx pose. So coming up onto your forearms here, your feet can stay on the floor. We'll start in this open with our chest open position. Of course, you guys can't see me, so let me do it this way. It's always something. It's okay. Yeah. And as you're here, if you want to, you can start to drop your chin to your chest. Stretching through your neck. You can move in between the two um, positions if you'd like. You can also look over one shoulder and then the other, making some circles with your neck if that feels okay. And if you notice any like tinging in your um, small back, if you just press your pelvic floor into the into the mat, that changes the rotation of your of your pelvis and your hips. And that may take some of that stress off. If not, just come down. Nice. And then just release all the way down, bringing your hands underneath your shoulders, coming into a tabletop position. Pressing your hands into the mat. Maybe you tuck your toes, maybe you keep your feet flat on the flat on the floor, and then just start to work through some cat and cows. If you have any middle back issues, you probably just want to take some really small movements. If your back and your body's helping, then really feel free to, you know, experience the full range of motion. You can add in some C curves or S curves here. Come back 
to that neutral spine, we're going to bring our palms together to make this like butterfly shape, if you guys can see. Um, if it's super tight, you can always walk your wrist out a little bit. You can stay here, you can add in some tiny movements. I know we've done this before, but it's always good to keep our joints fluid. back to that neutral position flip your right palm to the ceiling and again if you'd like you can take some side to side movement here that might be enough on your wrist just let your body tell you where you need to go and then release moving on to the other hand flipping your left palm up toward the ceiling Again, adding in some tiny movement. Nice. And then releasing back. Returning your fingers to their original position. You're gonna walk your hands out a little bit further in front of you. This is a pretty, pretty deep shoulder stretch. Um, so you don't have to get only, you're only gonna be able to go as far as you can, but be mindful, you know, our shoulders are um, pretty, can be pretty fragile. So if you start to feel a tinge or a pinch back out of it a little bit. So you're gonna stay in the kneeling position. You can start by dropping your forearms to the floor and see how that feels. Or you can just walk your fingers out, starting to bring either your chin or your chest towards the mat. You can take your hands a little bit wider um, if your shoulders are super tight. Or it may just look like this for you. If you're feeling it here, then that's exactly where you need to be. You don't need to take it any further than that. Slowly coming back up through that tabletop position making any kind of adjustments that you might need. And you're just going to bring your right leg up, coming into a lunge position. Both hands are on the inside of your right foot. You can take some tiny movements here. And then coming down, you can stay on your hands if that's already pretty um, intense for you. Um, if you want a little bit more, you can tuck your back toes, lifting that back leg off the floor here. And maybe you come down to your forearms. Maybe you stay with your knee on your forearms. Maybe not, maybe just stay on your hands. We're not gonna be here too long. Just whatever shape you choose. Remember to breathe. Coming back up to your hands, dropping that knee to the floor if it's elevated. Right hand is on the outside of that right foot and coming into a runner's lunge or half splits prep. So yours might look different. Maybe you're up here, you have super tight legs. That's perfect. Um, sometimes we need some movement. So sometimes it's helpful even in, in, you know, when I'm doing a static hold, if you're like, my body needs something else, can always add in some dynamic movement and having a dolly dog here is super helpful to you. Yep, good. Nice. Come back into that low lunge. You're going to roll off of your back knee, pointing your toe to the ceiling. It's a really intense stretch, always is. Um, I think just the more you do it, you, you're able to get into that muscle a little bit more deeply. If it starts to cramp, just release, come back into it. If you need a little bit more, reaching back for that foot. And then release. You're just going to bring that right leg back, coming back into that neutral tabletop position. Taking any kind of movements, like I said. Anything that feels good. Take advantage of the fact that nobody can see you, right? 
And then you're gonna bring your left leg up. Coming into that low lunge. Again, both hands are on the inside of this left foot. If you wanna come onto the side of your foot for a moment, opening into that hip, that's perfect. Um, if you just wanna come into the stretch, that's great too. You wanna to elevate that back leg. And then come, maybe you come down to your forearms. Maybe that's next class. And breathe. Notice what sensations come up for you here. Maybe some curse words. It's okay. I'm sure I've been called worse. Coming back up to your hands, dropping that knee. Left hand comes on the outside of that left foot. Again, coming into a runner's lunge or half splits so on the opposite side. So you may need to do something a little bit different on this side. You may want to take some dynamic movement. Wherever you're at, it's perfect. Unless you're on your couch. And then you should be on your mat or on the floor doing some stretching. And anytime someone says, I'm not flexible, well, you gotta start, right? It's just like anything else. Coming back into your low lunge, rolling off of your back knee, pointing your toe. Again, intense stretch always is. Maybe you reach back for that foot. Maybe next class. Nice. Go ahead and release your foot, bringing that Left leg back, coming into your tabletop position. Moving through some cat and cows, and then go ahead and find your child's pose. So taking your knees wide, pushing your hips back, spreading your hands or your fingertips towards the front of the mat. If you, again, would like to um, add in a shoulder stretch or a tricep stretch, shoulder stretch, hands can go to, towards the ceiling. You can also bring your hands to your back or right below your neck walking your elbows out and that's going to get into your um, triceps a little bit more so just relax into that again notice which parts of your body are touching the mat allow your body to get heavy here for these last few moments Coming back up to a seated position, we'll come back into an easy seat or whatever seat feels easy for you. We'll just work through the neck a little bit and we'll call it a day. Go ahead and drop your chin to your chest. Again, fingertips or you can interlace your fingers. Elbows are going to come towards, move towards each other. Just let the weight of your hands release through your neck. Coming back up through center, elbows come out to the side, looking up toward the ceiling. And then one more time like that. Come back to that neutral position, elbows go out to the side, looking up. Releasing your arms, rolling your shoulders in both directions, dropping your right ear to your right shoulder. You're going to bring that left arm up and then over. And pay attention to what's happening on the left side. So you don't really want to go too far to where that hip is coming off the ground. You want to keep that, ground, that hip grounded as you reach over to the side. So you're really getting a nice side body stretch. Come back to center, right arm toward the ceiling, left ear to left shoulder, same thing. Again, if you notice that hip starts to ride up, back off just a little bit. You can still really stretch through your arm without having to lift that hip off the floor. Nice, come back to center, awesome. 
And thanks guys, thanks for showing up today um, and hanging out with me and these two crazy dogs. Sorry for the uh, beginning. Um, dogs definitely do not do social distancing. They, they do not approve. Um, thanks for, you know, bearing with the technical issues and all. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and um, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thanks. Bye.